Hey guys, 22 Plankster here. A few weeks ago, I asked this question on Facebook. And the question was, if you wanted to know something about rimfires, or if you could ask me a question about rimfires, what would it be? And probably the most, uh, probably the most common question was, why does my 22 long rifle, or my uh, rimfire in general, misfire? There are four different things, in my opinion, that causes misfires. Uh, on your rim fires, of course, on 22 long rifle. I'm not talking about coarse center fire here. I'm talking strictly about rim fire. And the first thing I want to talk about is your firing pin. A lot of time, it's not the ammunition. It is the firing pin, the rifle, or the pistol. A lot of the older rifles and pistols, um, it's not good to dry fire them. And over a period of time, if you dry fire after dry fire after dry fire, uh, what that does is that firing pin is hitting still on that barrel a lot of the times. And what that does, it shortens the firing pin. So on a lot of your older rifles and older pistols, you put in the, the round and over a period of time of you dry firing it, there's a not en enough firing pin hitting the side of this primer to cause it to go off. So I guess the rule there is don't dry fire old rim fires. Now some of the modern ones, it's okay to uh, dry fire. I don't like dry firing any of my rim fires. Uh, some of the manufacturer says it's okay. But just as a rule of thumb, I try to use snap caps uh, anytime I want to do any kind of dry firing on those. Another one I want to talk about is the ammunition quality. All right, not all rimfire is created equal. Uh, there's some low of the low, and there's some high of the high. I'm not mentioning any manufacturer's name by, um, by specific name or anything like that. Um, but you rimfire shooters out there, you know exactly who they are, because I don't want to be that guy who calls out a company making poor rimfire products. Um, but, you know, I mostly shoot Federal and I mostly shoot CCI. The reason why I shoot those two uh, different kind of rimfire ammunition is because that's what's worked for me. That's always worked for me. I've never, well, I can't say I've not ever had any problem with them. I have very little problem with them. Um, you know, any kind of rimfire, you're going to have some kind of problems with just because of the uh, firearm gets dirty and things of that nature. Um, but, you know, I found that CCI and Federal was 99.999% reliable. Another topic that we need to talk about is the age of the ammunition. Now, there are stuff all over the internet about saying, hey, 22 long rifle will only last 10 years. No, it'll last 5 years. Um, no, it'll last 15 years. There, this, this subject right here has been debated for years and years and years. My personal opinion is that as long as you have a good quality ammunition, uh, rimfire ammunition, and you keep it stored in a dry, cool place, it's going to last you a long time. I've got some rimfire in the house that's probably 30, 40 years old, and I guarantee you if I shoot 100 rounds of it, uh, I guarantee you 90 to 95% of them would go off uh, just because how it's stored. Now, if you live in the south, like here in Tennessee, uh, or Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, or any places like that, and you know, you store your, your ammunition outside or you store it in the attic or somewhere like that where it's really humid and really hot. Now that what that's going to do is going to break down the powder and it's also going to break down the primer compound on the back of the rim fire here. And over a period of time, yeah, it, it's going to mess up the ammunition. You're going to get a lot of misfires out of that ammunition. But as long as you store it in a cool, dry place, it should last you for a long, long time. Another subject that I want to talk about that a lot of you have never really thought about is mishandling your rimfire ammunition. Um, you know, it's never good to throw your ammunition around, whether it's rimfire or centerfire. That's never a good practice. Um, but a lot of times, you know, and I've been guilty of it, you know, I have a box of 50 or a box of 100 or a bolt box. I'll just throw it in the, you know, not throw it, but set it pretty hard in the front seat or in the floorboard, really not think anything about it. But actually, a lot of the reasons why you get misfires on your rimfire ammunition is because of the ammunition was mishandled. Rimfire ammunition is loaded totally different than coarse centerfire. There is a primer compound um, that's in the back of this rimfire and they have to press it down. Okay, I'm fixing to show you an example of that, but they have to press it down. And sometimes if you mishandle your, your, your ammunition, if you're rough with it, what, the, what can happen is the primer compound out of the back of this casing will fall down. It will be lost in the mist of this powder. So when the firing pin strikes the back of this primer, it's not striking anything because it's already came dislodged. The, the, um, the primer compound has come dislodged from inside this casing. And that's going to cause you a lot of misfires. Alright, about the best example I can show you is using a Play-Doh 
uh, just a regular Play-Doh canister. Now this represents the 22 long rifle casing. And the Play-Doh, it's cut out perfectly to fit inside of here. This uh, is the example of the primer compound. Well, from the factory, it goes in perfect like so, okay? And it goes all, pushes all the way down here to the bottom. Well, sometimes from the factory and also by mishandling your ammunition, the primer compound can get stuck like that, okay? At like a 45 degree angle. And what that will allow to do, there's an empty spot right here. This is all dead space. Now, when your primer hits this right here, it's not going to do anything. It's not going to go off. Uh, because this is all dead space. It's not striking this primer compound. Now, you see this? Now, if it hits on this side of it where the primer compound is against the back of the rim, it's going to go off. So that's sometimes, uh, you know, I've experimented with this. I fired, had a misfire. I can take the uh, 22 long rifle out and turn it just a little bit on the other side and shoot, and it goes off almost every single time because of this right here. Now, this can happen, like I said, by mishandling your ammunition, just by throwing it down, not being careful with it, putting it in your range bag and slamming your range bag on the table. All this can dislodge that primer compound out of the back of it. So when you're handling your rimfire, just be careful with it. Guys, if you have any other questions, you can come over to my Facebook page and ask them there. And, you know, or you can ask them down here in the comments below. Until next time, y'all be safe and keep plinking.